Well, hello everyone. I am meteorologist Adam Clayton here in the Storm Team 27 Weather Center, bringing you an update to your forecast on this uh, beautiful Sunday, a beautiful Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. We can go ahead and start off here by looking at the Lake Club right now, and it is absolutely gorgeous at the Lake Club. Uh, lots of sunshine. There are still a few more clouds around uh, this morning than what we've been seeing uh, the past couple of days, but right now it looks pretty good, uh, and I'm filming this right around 10 o'clock. So to Temperatures already starting to warm up. Notice that the airport observation is at 71 degrees. When you see this temperature map, when we show it, uh, the airport observation is typically uh, the one that updates first. So it's up to 71 degrees already at 10 o'clock, and soon these uh, other temperature values will begin to update as well. The current radar this morning only showing a few of those clouds passing uh, from southeast actually to northwest. Very unique uh, flow of the wind today. That's because of a storm system down to our uh, south and east actually caused the National Weather Balloon, National Weather Service balloon from the National Weather Service in Pittsburgh to drift all the way over into, uh, all the way over into Columbiana County yesterday. Now, looking at the national radar, this is a storm system I was talking about that's bringing uh, some light rain showers to parts of the Carolinas, some heavier rain there on the outer banks, and then uh, further into parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, West Virginia, even into southern Ohio a little bit. You can tell we're sort of on the northern edge of this here in the Youngstown area. I can actually zoom in a little bit. There's going to be a few more clouds around today. You can see those passing through the Pittsburgh area, and there's just a very slight chance of an isolated shower or two, although I think most locations are going to stay dry. Here's a future tracker for today. By 3 o'clock, temperatures already in the upper 70s, and we'll watch those temperatures rise into the low 80s. Partly cloudy skies still. You'll notice a few of these light a green blip showing up on the future tracker. Uh, that is what could be uh, some very light rain showers. However, I think those are going to struggle to reach the ground. Uh, I would be surprised if any location picked up any meaningful rainfall today, and perhaps a sprinkle or two, but nothing that's going to ruin your day or anything like that. And that chance continues later on tonight, but eventually the clouds clear out. Temperatures drop down into the mid 50s. And then as we head into the day tomorrow, tomorrow is shaping up to be warmer than what was expected yesterday. Could see some mid to upper 80s for tomorrow with lots of sunshine. So today's forecast planning ahead. High temperatures in the low 80s, partly cloudy skies, just that very slight chance of a rain shower should be another really good day out there. Now, going back to Monday, that storm system's going to stay off uh, further off to our south and east than expected. And so we're really just going to be on the outer edges here of just some clouds. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more sunny than what was previously expected. And that's going to lead to some warmer temperatures uh, than was originally anticipated. That's Monday afternoon there, just a few high weather clouds clouds, precipitation staying off to the south. Now, speaking of rainfall, well, it has just been an interesting month for sure. The first few days started off with quite a bit of rain with those cool temperatures. Since then, we've had 16 days of dry weather, and that's seven days in a row. We're probably going to make that eight days in a row at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport. Look at this departure from normal down here, uh, almost two inches. This time last year, we had 4.2 inches of rain at this time, and right now in May of 2020, 23, we only have about 1.3 inches. Uh, so what is the rest of the month going to hold? Well, uh, probably not much in the way of rain. High temperature departure from normal map is also very interesting. Started off the month, of course, very cold. And then since then, we've had 16 days of above normal temperatures. Of course, nothing uh, as above normal as we were cold there at the first of the month. But we are going to start to warm up a little bit as we head into the work week here. We're going to say hello to summertime uh, weather across the valley as well with some uh, high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Average high temperature around this time of year is 75 degrees, so nearly uh, 15 degrees above average for this time of year as we sort of uh, start to head into the first of summer. And this is a future rainfall map here, and it looks very, very dry. Rain north, south, east, west of us. Uh, this is through Saturday afternoon, and this model has no rainfall. So you know, those stream flows are starting to become decreased a little bit. I wrote a story about that today. You can go check that out at WKBN.com. Seven-day outlook here shows high of 87 tomorrow. If we hit that, that will be the warmest day of 2023 so far. 84 and 85, respectively, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, back into the upper 80s before we get back down to about 85. Notice those low temperatures Thursday night and Friday night. That's around 60 degrees. That 
means the dew points are going to be a little bit higher, uh, so it's going to feel a little bit more summer-like out there. So great weather for the Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully get some rain here soon in the middle month of, or in the middle part of June. Well, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and a fantastic rest of the weekend. I'm meteorologist Adam Clayton here in the Storm Team 27 Weather Center.